Hello guys and welcome to my annual what I got for Christmas video. As per usual with this video I do feel the need to do a disclaimer at the beginning even though you guys probably if you've clicked on it you know the deal. Um, this is something I make every single year. I'm not trying to brag and be like this is what I got for Christmas but you guys always always ask me to do it um, and I've had a lot of requests so far because this video is actually a little bit late this year or later than I normally upload. Um, I usually film it on uh, Boxing Day and upload it either Boxing Day or the day after. Um, but this year, obviously having a little one, Christmas has been so much more manic. We've also hosted our Christmas, our first ever Christmas at our house. Um, and it's also River's birthday today. So I have a one year old birthday party um, in two hours time. So excuse me if I rush this and there's no close ups, you're just gonna have to imagine the close up. Most of it to be fair is quite um, like obvious what it is and you'll be able to see because they're quite like big things, isn't it? Like, dainty dainty tiny things um so yes let's get into it what i got for christmas this year i was very spoiled i had a lovely christmas like i said we hosted for the first time ever which i thought was going to be really stressful and it was 90 percent amazing 10 percent stressful it was so good um and i hope everybody had a good time like i had all my family and um my aunt and uncle and all the kids were together it was just it was just lovely it was so nice um but it has been a very very busy christmas period so after today once river's party's over i'm looking forward to just chilling out a little bit anyway so what did i get for christmas I'm, this is in no particular order either because i haven't had time to kind of organize stuff it's just in the pile from christmas because i haven't even been through it yet because of little one um but um, the first thing I got are these, which I'm very excited about. These are from my friend Lucy. These are premium botanicals for gin and tonic. Now, this actually really excites me because I had the best gin and tonic of my life the other day and it had pink peppercorns in it. Um, so in here, there are pink peppercorns. I think they're cardamom pod pods. And I do not know what these ones are. They look like some kind of pepper. Let's get them out and have a look. They come in test tubes, which is really cool. Just says Baia de Enebro. What does that mean? Juniper berries. There we go. Juniper berries. Am I right on these ones? Um, pink pepper and cardamom. So I was right on the other two. But how cool are these? Lucy knows I'm a big fan of my gin and tonic. So um, I'm excited to use those. Probably this afternoon, let's face it. When the kids are gone, I will probably even before the kids are gone, I'll have a little gin and tonic. Anyway, so the next thing um, was a gift from my friends James and Sophie, and this is so nice. It's a tablecloth and um, napkins. My brain is fried, can you tell? Tablecloth and napkins, and these are so pretty. They're in this gorgeous, like, white and kind of light pink and red print. I love pink and red together. This is going to be awesome in the summer. Um, I mean, you could use it any time of year, but it's very summery, like, print. I think it would be awesome for, like, barbecues and stuff outside, so I love that. And then I also got this notebook. This was from Mike's mum. And this is actually a personalised notebook from Papier. But the reason why she got it is this print is the print that we used on River's first birthday invitation. So um, she thought it would be a nice, like, keepsake. And she's put Fleur de Force on the front. Um, it's just like a ruled notebook, but I love this print. It's so pretty. It's a collaboration. I thought it was Matthew Williamson because they have a collaboration with Matthew Williamson. It's actually Mother of Pearl, um, and it's just so pretty. Yeah, so I love that. She also got me some like notelet cards, which I can't really show you because they've got our address on them, but same print. Um, and then also another thing that I got from my friend Min that I really love is this picture frame. I actually have a couple of these picture frames already, which is perfect, so I'll go with those. They're in this room, there's one there and one there, weirdly enough. Um, but this is me and my best friend from school all together. This is actually taken at my friend Lissy's 30th birthday party this summer, um, and it's just such a nice picture. It's so rare that we're all together, but also when we are together that we take a picture. And there's a special um, extra person in here. There's normally like kind of five of us that will go, we all kind of catch up and go on a little girly trip every summer. I actually didn't go this summer, so let's just... I'm not going to talk about how upset I was about that. Um, but this girl here is called Jane, and she is never there. So it's like, honestly, like a one-off that this picture was taken. So really, really cool with a group of really lovely friends from school. Another thing that I got this year that I was completely blown away by um, were these pyjamas from my sister-in-law. And I was just, this is such a generous gift. I was really blown away. Um, they are Olivia Von Halle silk pajamas. I do have one other pair of these that I wear all the time and I absolutely love them. They're my favorite, favorite pajamas. And she got me this set, which is like a lilac color 
with, it's a really interesting print actually, I can't work out if it's meant to be clouds or just like a pattern, it's really cute and um, so it's got the shirt and then it's got shorts with it which is actually very very nice because I don't have any pyjamas um, like nice pajamas that have shorts. They've all got um, long legs. So this is super nice and super luxurious and I haven't worn them yet. Maybe I'll wear them tonight as a little treat and whilst I'm drinking my gin and tonic maybe. Um, but yeah, so that was a super generous gift from Mike's sister. And another thing, another notebook that I got that's also from Papier and it's also personalised at the bottom there is this one. I love notebooks. I just love making notes and just being organised and stuff. So. I'm excited to start. I actually, I've got two more to show you as well. I'm just going to show you all the notebooks at the same time. Um, and this is a collaboration with Desmond and Dempsey um, with Papier. And it says Dreams, Regimes and Mischievous Schemes. That was from my friend Hannah. And the other notebooks I got, I got this one, which funnily enough, I had actually bought this for my friend Lucy as well, because she's a massive Swifty too. Um, but it's a Taylor Swift notebook. <laughs> this is from my friend Libby. Yeah, I love it. I also love the face Taylor's pulling here. She's like, hmm, like smirking. Um, and then I also got another notebook from Lucy, the same Lucy that bought me the gin botanicals, got me this, which says make today lovely. And it's like a really beautiful leather bound notebook. So I've got a lot of notes to be making this year, guys, a lot of notes. I also got two books as gifts this year. The first one is one that I've heard loads about. It's In the Company of Women by Grace Bonney. Um, who's the founder of Design Sponge, and this was from my friend um, Bailey, who I love that she writes a note in the front of her books. Um, so it says, Dearest Fleur, from many inspiring creative women to another, I thought you would have probably, you would, th there? I thought there would, oh my god, I can't read. This is where, this is how bad it's going. I thought there would probably be many interesting and fascinating stories that could either spark more ideas or you'd be able to relate to. Super proud of you, lots of love, Bales. How lovely is that? Um, so I'm really excited. This is a kind of amazing coffee table book because you literally can flick into it and it's a, a different woman per double page spread and like their story. So yeah, awesome. I'm so excited to read that. I also got um, another awesome book from my mother-in-law, Mike's mum, got me Pretty City London. This is actually an Instagram account, which I didn't realise until I got this book, and I'm definitely going to be following her now. Um, it's Siobhan Ferguson. And the funny thing is, I don't know if you guys remember when I posted a picture of like my first outing with River in London, the first time I ever took River to London. I took a picture here, so she gave me this book and I was like, oh my god, that looks just like, I was like, that is where I've taken an Instagram picture before. It's basically like, if you're looking for ideas of where to take nice Instagram pictures in London, basically all of the prettiest places in London, and the photography is beautiful. Like I said, I'm definitely going to be following her account from now on, because, yeah, stunning. Anyway, so that is um, Pretty City London. And then Mike's mum and dad also were insanely generous and bought me a Burberry scarf. I was absolutely blown away by this when I opened it because it's beautiful as well. I've wanted a Burberry scarf for years and it's always been one of those things that I've never kind of felt like it was something that I would buy for myself. I don't know why, but um, yeah. So it's basically one of their double-sided ones. So as you can see, one side is grey, and the other, oh, that side is grey, and the other side is their like classic beige. But it's actually not one or the other side, it's half and half, so it swaps over halfway um, to be the other, which is cool. So you can put it, you can wear it showing both sides like this, or you can wear it like just showing the grey. Absolutely beautiful. It's actually really long as well, which I really like because it means you, you can loop it round, but you've still got two like really good tails on either side. So that was really unexpected and super generous gift. I was really excited about that this Christmas. Um, I also got a candle, a new candle from my friend Sam and Lauren. How amazing is this box? This is a neon candle. And I have to say, like it's kind of become a bit of a tradition. Me and Lauren always give each other candles every year. This year I bought her the pumpkin chai one from neon, no, this is neon, from um, Nest. And she got me Neom Christmas Wish, which I have to say, I don't normally love Neom candles because they're very spa scented. And I don't know why, but like that's not usually like uh, the type of smell that I go for in candles. I usually go for more like warm and kind of sweet and kind of Christmassy. Um, whereas this one is just that. It smells so good. It's really clovey and it's just really 
amazing. It's got a hint of, it's like orange clove, or maybe like aniseed or something. It has a hint of something in there that I can't quite put my finger on, but it's really, really gorgeous. Yeah, it smells really good. And the box, I'm just, I just don't want to throw this away. It's just so gorgeous. And yeah, maybe I'll just keep, I'll keep it in the box till I burn it for sure. Um, but such a pretty candle. And then I also got these hilarious PJs from my auntie that I wanted to show you because I don't think you could get more me PJs if you tried. They are, they've got blonde sausage dogs and stars on them. Amazing. Blonde sausage dogs in Christmas jumpers and stars. It's actually a shirt, like a, um, a night shirt, which I have to say, I never used to wear night shirts, but since I was, I wore them loads when I was pregnant and then when I was um, breastfeeding right after I had the baby, I wore them loads, and actually, I'm kind of a convert to night shirts. I really, really like them, so that was from my auntie. And then from my mum and dad, I got these, um, and I've just got one to show you because, I mean, I don't really know how you show the whole set, but they bought me this vintage tea set, which a lot of you guys will know if you follow my vlogs for a long time. I love vintage china, antique china, tea sets especially, and tea cups, and coffee cups. And I have a set of amazing, bright yellow um, vintage coffee cups that I always get asked questions about whenever I show them. I'm, I always get like 10 questions about them. Um, and they were also from an auction from my mum for Christmas. And this year she bought me another set, which are, I mean, they're just absolutely stunning. They are silver and then they have the little china teacup is like a separate little, th it's like a thimbleful. It's definitely an espresso. Um, and it goes on there. They're actually engraved as well. I think it's with OB, um, which is gorgeous. I don't really mind that it's not my initials. I'm like, OB could stand for anything. Original babe. There we go. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Um, and then the little teaspoons that go with them are dipped in gold. So the actual um, end of the spoon is gold. They're just so delicate and gorgeous in a set of six. Um, and I just thought that was such a special present. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna be very careful not to drop it. So moving on to the presents from Mike. First thing Mike got me, I'm not showing you everything, Mike got me because he got me like lots of like little chocolates and things like that as well. He bought me a set of Monopoly. We actually don't own Monopoly, so I'm really happy that he got this. However, he got me the Cheetahs edition, which he thought was absolutely hilarious because I might occasionally cheat at Monopoly. Like, only every time I play it, which is probably like every five years. So yeah, I wouldn't call me a cheater necessarily. Yeah, okay, I'm a cheater. But I I just, yeah, whatever, Mike. They also, in case you're wondering, Mike, they do a Selfridges edition of Monopoly, which I think would have been more appropriate than the Cheaters edition. Um, so he got me that in my stocking, which is hilarious. And then another thing he got me, which I was very, very excited about, with these, um, he got me some new sunglasses from Chanel. These were actually very similar to ones that I had seen when we were in Italy. We were at a wedding and there was a lady wearing really similar ones to these and I loved them and he bought them for me. Um, this was like in August as well, so was, I'm impressed he remembered that I wanted them. They are actually slightly different because the CC on the side is slightly different, but basically they're massive. You can see my ring light. They are massive, um, like, plastic frame sunglasses. I love my sunglasses big. I've got too big a head to wear those little tiny ones. Um, and then on the side, they're like, I would, they're what, they are what I would call like blackout sunglasses. So the logo is in black, the, the lenses are really black. They're just like, very, like everything is black and I love them. Um, the ones that the lady we saw was wearing, actually like the CC was studded as well, but like I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, I looked for them at the time. Um, and then Mike obviously managed to find these ones, which are super similar, and I love them. So I'm very excited to wear those when the sun finally comes out. It's actually quite sunny today. Um, but yeah, so those were from Mike. Very lovely. And then he also got me this gorgeous cashmere scarf, which I was super excited about because I saw this um, a couple of weeks before Christmas. We went down to London with River. It was actually Black Friday, that Black Friday weekend. Um, and we were shopping, we were in Notting Hill, and I saw this scarf in a tiny little shop, it's called the London Cashmere Company, but it was a pop-up shop, and I saw this and I absolutely loved it. It's, it's kind of reminds me a bit of like a school scarf, do you know what I mean? It's got like the, um, 
like stripes on it. Um, but I saw this and I really loved it and it was really good value for money. It was £100, which for this size of cashmere scarf um, is pretty good in comparison to other stuff that I've seen. And so I was umming and ahhing about it. I was like, oh no, it's just for Christmas. I'm not going to buy it. Like, it's, like, I'll buy it. I'll get it as a present for somebody because it's so nice. So I ended up buying one for my friend Kelly, but Mike actually went back to the shop to get it because I was filming my Black Friday haul video. Um, so he went back to get it and um, he like sneakily bought two. So he got one for Kelly that we gave her and then there was one in my Christmas stocking as well. So um, yeah, that was really thoughtful and nice and I'm very excited to wear this and I really like it. Um, so yeah, that is my scarf from Mike. And then I also got this shirt, which I actually wore on Boxing Day, so it's probably a little bit crinkled. But it is a black kimono shirt from um, Equipment, and it's actually from the outlet. This was on my list of things that I sent to Mike before Christmas of like, I really, really like this, if you need any ideas. And it was, it wasn't a long list, but there was definitely like, six to eight things on it and I'm really glad he picked this one because I love it and it is so comfy and gorgeous. I absolutely adore Equipment as a brand. I love their stuff and it's normally really expensive but on the outnet it's much more affordable and they also have, I think they've got more of a discount now in the after Christmas sale but it's still on there. If anyone fancies getting it, I would highly recommend. I absolutely love it. It's got a tie waist as well. It's got this really beautiful kind of white piping detail on the pockets. Um, so yeah, it's like a double breast. It's almost like you could wear it as a jacket as well, like a really thin jacket. Um, so I really love that. The other thing, my main present from Mike was actually this necklace that I'm wearing now, which is a vintage watch chain. These are actually quite um, popular at the moment. I've seen a few um, jewelry brands like make new versions of them, but this is a vintage one um, that is rose gold and I just think it's so gorgeous. I also really, I'm pulling it the wrong way, that's what's going wrong, there we go. I also think it's a really nice length. Some of them can be a little bit short or a little bit long. I really like this, and what I wanna do eventually is to get another kind of antique chain with the two clasps so that I can attach it because it actually has really pretty um, hooks on the end. So you could do it like with another chain and then you could have like the mixed chain look like a little bit like Anina Vogel does, but not paying thousands and thousands of pounds for it. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this. And I was super happy with that because I've wanted one for a really, really long time. Love that. And then last but not least, I also got a present from River, which I wasn't expecting. I actually didn't get anything for Mike from River, which is now making me feel a little bit bad. But basically it was one of Mike's presents wrapped up from River instead of from Mike. Um, and she was really generous this year. She'd obviously been saving up because she bought me these. Um, she got me some Golden Goose superstar trainers, which I have wanted for a long time. My sister has been wearing these for longer than they've been like super cool. Like now I feel like everyone is wearing them and talking about them. My sister's been wearing them for probably like three or four years and loves them, like swears by how comfortable they are. When she first got them, I was in the camp of that's ridiculous. They look like you've worn them for two years and they're super expensive. If you don't know what this brand is, basically they're like a designer trainer brand. Um, and yeah, they are, they're pricey. Like, anyway, um, so when my first sister first started wearing them, I was like, that's ridiculous, they're so not worth it. And then I kind of like have been one round to it and I saw this particular pair in Selfridges about a year ago, maybe eight or nine months ago. I can't actually know, it was after I'd had River, so it was probably about nine months ago, and I just really, really love them because they're a bit more subtle than a lot of the other pairs. They have the silver glitter star, and then they have a really, really dark blue. I would say it's navy, but it's got like more of a kind of petrol-y kind of tone to it at the back, and then they've got the pink glitter tab. Like a lot of these are like crazy colours. I just really like these, and everyone always raves about how comfortable they are. So Mike knew, and obviously, went with River and bought them for me, which I'm super excited about. I haven't actually worn them yet. I've only tried them on, but um, I'm really excited to wear them. So yay, I finally own a pair of these. I have wanted them for a couple of years now. So, um, and it's the kind of thing I just couldn't, I couldn't justify buying them myself. It's one of those things, I don't know why. Um, it takes like someone buying them as a present for you to buy them and then you wear them all the time. I feel like I will wear these all the time. Um, so yeah, that is it for my what I got for Christmas video. I was very spoilt this year, very lucky. 
Um, and I want to say a big thank you to you guys for following me and for watching this video and supporting me throughout this year. It's been a really different year for me um, and it's been very hard to try and get into that balance of juggling being a mum and trying to do all this YouTube stuff as well. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much for always being there. Um, and I ha do have a, a little bit more content coming up before the new year, but I wanted to take the opportunity to say Happy New Year to you all. I hope you have a fantastic new year. Um, and I'm wishing you all the best for next year, 2019. Um, there's lots more content coming to my channel. I've, I got so many ideas from some of the giveaways on my Instagram this Christmas. I asked about kind of what content you guys would like to see and I got so many ideas for that. So watch out in the new year for some more content from me. Hopefully I won't be so sniffly um, and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.